Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Tax Academy, and in today's lesson we're going to be doing a major 251 workout. If you're not sure what a 251 is, then stick around as well, I'll be explaining all about it. So as ever, down in the description below, there's a link to the free PDF and the backing tracks that accompany today's lesson. And there's also a link to the full 12 key pack, but I'll explain a bit more about that later on. And if you enjoy today's lesson and you find those resources useful, you can also buy me a coffee and the link to that is also down below. And of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future lessons. So first of all, I'm going to break down what a 251 is, just a little bit of basic music theory that's really useful to know. Um, of course, if you already know what a 251 is and you feel confident with that stuff, the timestamps are below and you can skip ahead to the next section. So a 251 refers to a sequence of chords. Now with jazz standards, it's the most common chord sequence that you're going to see. And once you get to know these, you're going to start to see them in nearly all the tunes that you learn. So this is how we would build a 251 uh, chord structure. We start with our major scale of a key we're in. So we'll start with C major because that's the easiest key, no sharps, no flats. We're going to add in the scale degrees and then we go to the second scale degree because we're going to start with our number two chord. The way you build that chord is it's a series of skips. And in jazz, the most common kind of chord is a seventh chord, which means you need to build three more notes on top of your fundamental note. So we're going to add on an F, an A and a C. Now, if we go to chord five, we do the same process. We're going to build on top. And so we end up with a G at the bottom and then we've got B, D and F. And then finally, our one chord, we do the same process and we end up with C, E, G and B. If this is fairly new to you, I would start just by learning the chord tones for each of those three chords and get those under your fingers so you feel really confident with them. And that's going to really help you in preparation for improvising over these chords and also learning phrases and understanding how these phrases are made. So in total, we have 21 phrases, seven that just use uh, the major scale and then 14 that are using some extra things like chromatic passing notes some substitutions and some more advanced um, harmonic concepts. Now, if you would like to get this workout in all 12 keys, so for example, if say you were learning the tune Autumn Leaves, there we start with a major 251 in the key of G major for alto saxophones, then you could turn to the G major workout and you'd have all of these phrases transposed into that key. And all these workouts come along with a backing track as well. Now I recorded this workout in at about 150 BPM, which is kind of considered like a medium up speed. If you're newer to the saxophone, I'd recommend definitely changing the YouTube's playback speed settings. Um, and you can do that by clicking on the settings wheel and then you'll see uh, playback speed and you can put it on 0.75 or even 0.5 speed. Each phrase gets played twice. So when you're first going through this, I would listen to the phrase for the first time and then try to join in on the second time. Okay, so here's the performance of the C major 251 workout.
Okay, that's it for this week guys. Remember you can get this workout in all 12 keys with the backing tracks and that's linked in the description below. Let me know in the comments how you got on with this one and if you'd like to see any other kind of workouts in this style and I'll see you all next week.